Hey you guys! How are y'all doing this afternoon? I thought I would get on here and just talk to anybody who had any questions about Agnes and Dora. Because I know a lot of people are curious about what is Agnes and Dora. Let me fix this for you a little bit. Oh, wrong way. There you go. So how are you guys doing this afternoon? I'm getting ready. Oh, backwards camera has me going backwards. Hey, who's all on here? Hey, Savannah. Hey, hey, hey. I was getting on here to talk to um, about Agnes and Dora. And just people have questions about the business side of Agnes and Dora as well as what it what is Agnes and Dora. You see the name, but getting to know exactly what it is and answer any questions that you guys may have about the company, about Agnes and Dora. Because it is a completely different women's clothing company. It is very amazing. We, um, if you, hey, sorry, just seeing everybody hopping on, sorry. So do you, let me see if I can get that to go off. There we go. Me and, me and electronics, I tell you, we don't get along. That's the reason why my husband doesn't allow me to get near a, like the alarm clock and stuff. Because I'm a hot mess when it comes to electronics. Hot mess, let me tell you. Well, let me introduce myself for you guys that haven't shopped with me before. I am Cheyenne Jardine with Agnes and Dora. I'm not selling anything today. I just thought I'd get on and talk to you guys about Agnes and Dora. Hey, Caitlin. And answer any questions. Hey, buddy. That you guys may have about the company, about um, how it's run, the queue, um, our business model in general. Is the startup fee outrageously expensive? No, it's not, honey. It is only $3,500 to get into Agnes and Dora. $3,500, which is extremely reasonable when you consider that it's starting your business. How many businesses do you know that you can start off making, you know, start off making really good money and invest $3,500? So we have two kits. We um, have, I'll go ahead and give you a background. Our, we have two kits for Agnes and Dora. We have a $3,500 kit and we have a $5,000 kit. I tell my girls get the $3,500 kit and this is why. Unlike uh, LuLaRoe and a lot of the other business models, hey Liz, that is like um, Agnes and Dora, we choose our own inventory. We order our own pieces all the way down to runs of solid black, solid navy, um, reds, whites, um, you can order those staple pieces. So we actually can go in and when we do launches every week, we get to go in and we get to choose um, exactly what prints we want, what styles we want, what size we want, what color we want. Um, because of that, I tell my girls, get the $3,500 package. If you have the extra $1,500 and you wanna invest in that, use that money to customize your boutique to you. Um, that way you can go ahead and start picking out exactly the pieces that you want and the sizes you want, the colors you want. That works best for your boutique. Um, the $3,500 uh, package is all inventory too. And we purchase at a wholesale rate and we sell at a retail rate. And we have a 50% profit margin. Which if you've looked at a lot of other um, direct sales companies, most companies only have about a 20 or 30 percent profit margin. Um, usually you have to sell up to a certain benchmark or purchase so much inventory um, to go and get a higher discount. Um, from piece one, very first item you buy, you ha start off with a 50 percent um, profit margin. Now out of that 50 percent, you're going to have to pay taxes, of course, Uncle Sam ain't going nowhere, right? Um, and then you know you have to reinvest in your business and then you'll pay yourself. Now, because of that, I think that $3,500 is very reasonable because everything that you're getting, it's something you're going to be able to sell. Um, that means that, you know, you're going to pay it by a $3,500 kit, and then you're going to be able to make $7,000. And that's very, very reasonable. Hey, everybody that's joined. We're talking to Agnes and Dora, the business model. Um... And then for the queue, we used to have a long wait in the queue. It used to be really long because Buffy, our owner, um, for you guys that are new, she's actually the niece of the owner of uh, Deanne, and which is the owner of LuLaRoe. She um, had the business growing, and it was growing so fast, you guys, so fast last year, um, especially from July to November, so fast that she's shut off onboarding. 
she made it so that nobody, no matter how much money you offered her, she would not let you on board. And the reason was she really wanted to build the infrastructure. Um, she wanted to make sure that manufacturing was solid. She wanted to make sure that the quality was solid and that all the current reps that were, had already onboarded were really supported. Not trying to be mean, but they said we could sell all the LuLaRoe too. Look where that got us. The, well, there's one difference in that, Kelly. We actually choose our pieces. We control our entire inventory. And Buffy doesn't want um, Agnes and Dora to become like the company you're talking about um, in the sense of that oversaturation problem. And the um, so what she does is she shut down onboarding. And she shut it down from December to like the beginning of December, end of November, all the way to March. So that way, even the onboard, yes. Mm -hmm. And so that that way there wouldn't be this huge influx of reps and, and this oversaturation in the market and a drop in the quality because trying to manufacture too many clothes at one time without the infrastructure there. So what she did was she closed it down and waited until March. And then at March, she slowly, like, we started off only onboarding like 100, uh, offering, I wouldn't even say onboarding, offering the onboarding um, option to like 100 reps a week. And, and still, I mean, people were waiting months and months and months and months. And a lot of people went to other companies because they got tired of waiting. But she didn't want to have a bunch of people onboard onto the company if the company wasn't ready. She wanted the infrastructure to be there, the quality to be there, and the reps to be supported. Um, and then now that she's had, you know, those several months to get that stabilized and built, now she's slowly onboarding. And she will be honest with you, she'll tell you that she'll stop onboarding anytime she feels like it's too much of a saturation or anything. Right now we have 2,800 reps in the U.S. Compare that to the other company that I think has around 130, 140,000 reps. That's how controlled growth she's doing now can we grow a lot faster yes but she's not gonna let us get extremely not gonna have that oversaturation the other difference is, is that you choose all your inventory so a lot of people have trouble selling some of those pieces because one is for me when I was a little row queue I was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna like those pieces um, and I'm not good at faking things um, <laughs> Like, if I don't like it, usually you can read it on my face, unfortunately. It's just, I don't know if it's just the southern girl on me or what, but um, I just don't hide it well. So, I knew that if I got a print in that I did not like, it was going to be sitting there. It was going to be sitting there for a long time in my house because I probably wouldn't be able to sell it. Because I don't, you know, I wasn't, I'm a mom of six, I'm a nurse, um, I'm a wife, you know, I just, you know, I just know that, you kind of know your personality. My personality is predictability and I like control. <laughs> Order, which you have to when you're your mama's sick. So otherwise it's pure, pure chaos in the house. So I wanted to be able to go in and order my inventory exactly to my personality. I wanted those staple items. I wanted um, to be able to know that if I bought a skirt, I had a shirt to match it. I didn't want to have to rely on maybe getting something. So everything you get to order, you choose. Um, which is fantastic. Now the the initial kits is the only time you don't choose your specific inventory. They give you a sampler of all the different styles and all the different um, like colors and fabrics. For example, I never knew I was going to fall in love with techno. Once I got a techno fabric, I'm like, oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. It's soft, it's silky, it's structured, it looks very, very expensive when you wear it. Um, Looks like something you get from Nordstrom. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I would have never tried it before because I didn't have experience with it. So, with the um, being able to select everything in here, I get to control how much I have and I get to control what I have. The sampler with the, the initial kit is the only time you don't choose, but they do give you runs of black in almost everything. And if you're, you're an LLR girl, you know... Black is where it's at, right? Because it's like, everybody wants black. I mean, we had to sell the other day, and I'm telling you, it was like all, almost everything that sold for like that night was black. Women, we love our black, right? So being able to have full runs of black and everything is really nice, and you get that with your um, initial kit. Minimum orders, we only, uh, you can order at any time. The only thing you're required is if you place an order, that it just is a $100 minimum order. 
but there's no like you have to order X pieces per month or anything like that. Which makes it really nice because if a customer comes in and says, hey, I would really need this black swing, but I need it in a 2X and you only have 1X and uh, 3X available, I can go in and place an order for that and then like two other things and I've met my order. Which is really, really nice. The onboarding time right now is around a week um, that you get it. Once you get in the queue, um, then you have, a, right now it's about a week unless we get a lot of people applying and then she'll probably stagger it out. Um, it's about a week and then you, during after you get that uh, onboarding email, you sign in from that second on, you can order. You can place, you can participate in our launch orders, you can buy um, your runs of black if you want to get them early or you want uh, a style that comes in. And again, from that first order, it's 50% off. You don't have to have sold or purchased so much before you get that discount. So that is huge. Hey, Courtney. And then, um, but there, that's all that's required is $100. How much is it to onboard? It is $3,500. We have two packages. There's $3,500 package and a $5,000 package. Now, I tell all my girls, do the $3,500 because I mean, it's a sampler. You get runs of black. You get everything. If you have more money, then I recommend still getting the $3,500 because then after that initial package, you choose all your inventory. So for me, why let them choose $5,000 with my inventory? Why not let them choose $3,500 and let me choose the other $1,500? I, 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 I like to shop. So I want, I want to sit there and collect the items that I want on there. That's the other thing, you guys. We don't do, well, you can do them, but we don't have to. You don't have to take all the pictures. Holla! <laughs> it's so nice. So nice. You can, we get stock photos for stuff because I don't know if you guys spend a lot of time um, getting inventory in and having to sit there and take a bazillion pictures of all the stuff and try to get it right. All of that is time that you could be doing other things. You could be visiting with your family. You could be watching TV. You could be uh, doing a live sale. It is a huge time saver. And you don't end up in Facebook jail. Another big bonus, right? I've heard about Facebook jail. Um, and we don't do, we don't have to do all these multi-rep sales. We don't, um, you, we do live sales and we have our shopping groups, which is great because it's a great way to interact and have that party vibe with your customers. And you really get to know them very well. Uh, but we have an online website. So when you onboard with Agnes and Dora, you get an online website and it's $49 and it's for the entire year, which most companies charge that per month. So $49 to have an online store that's always open and working, even if you're on the couch watching Game of Thrones, like, you know, or Big Brother, which I'll be later today. Um, <laughs> you're, you can still be, have our have your store open and available. And it's wonderful for um, like hostessing uh, online parties the website also tracks your inventory for you. It tracks um, your flow, your um, basically your entire uh, website analysis is on there. So you get so much marketing information and branding information as well as inventory control and is an online store for you. I mean, it's like the next best thing to having a brick and mortar except you don't have to leave your house to go to it. So for the $49, that's for all year, and it keeps all your orders in there. Do y'all have any other questions? And if you're curious about Agnes and Dora, I have on my website, which is livingadorably.com, livingadorably.com. I have information about me and information about the company. Um, you can go in there. There's a contact me button uh, that will send a message directly to me. If you're interested in Agnes and Dora and joining Agnes and Dora, you can click join my team. And underneath that, it, I have a whole, like, frequently asked questions. Um, but if you guys have any questions that you guys want to throw at me about the company, how we order, um, the structure of the company, because I know, if, you know, for you guys that have been with the other companies, it's definitely different. It's a definitely a different culture. We're very much, um, because there's only 2,800 of us, we're, we're very supportive of each other. We, you know, if I don't have something, I definitely send it to another customer, you know, my customer to someone else. Um, it makes it very nice because there's billions and trillions of women in the U.S. Shipping. Teresa, as far as shipping, we get, um, 
We talk about shipping of our product or shipping to our customer. Like talking about shipping to us or shipping to our customers. As far as shipping to us, we have what's called launches, which is um, we don't keep the same styles all the time. We have our staple styles, but then we get, because Buffy really wants it to feel like a uh, boutique vibe, we get like new things like the caftan and we get uh, new style dresses and skirts and ball skirts and we are very fashion forward, two tier tanks, you know, sleeveless dresses. Um, and so we order from launches, whatever the new styles are, the new colors, new prints come out every Tuesday. And um, I ordered today and I've already gotten my shipping notification that's being shipped already. And I ordered at one o'clock uh, Eastern time and it's, I think five o'clock, so four hours and it was shipped. Two customers, do you have to invest in equipment, bags to ship and stuff? The, uh, for shipping, you uh, will use, um, I recommend PayPal, because um, you invoice, we invoice currently through PayPal. Um, you can use Square too, but, um, or like shipping easy or whatnot, but for me that's an extra step. So I personally use PayPal and I train my girls to use PayPal. Um, you will use poly mailers for anything that's under a pound. Um, and then for anything that's over a pound, you would get the boxes from USPS. You can get those for free. That's like a money saver. Um, you would call and, uh, well, you don't have to call. You can go to the website and create a business account and then it go to shipping supplies and items. And then it will say, um, uh, medium flat rate boxes, large flat rate boxes, uh, padded mailers. Those are the three that you're gonna use a lot of. Um, and what you do is you just click to order and they will ship it directly to your door. You don't even have to go pick it up and it's all free. So as far as that goes, then for the shipping to the customer, um, you have shipping rates which cover your cost of the shipping. Um, for me personally, I don't charge full rate on shipping just because I figure if someone has bought enough for me to go into a medium or a large box, um, I'm paying the rest of their shipping. Oh, thank you for the hearts, you guys. Um, and then it's, oh, the only other thing is I bought, uh, I can show you, like one of these little scale little things. Nothing super fancy. I think this is like a $10 scale from Amazon. And... That's it. Hey, Jennifer. So, yes, um, I figure that, you know, in shipping supplies, you can get as fancy or as casual as you want to be. I like to wrap up my gifts to my girls in a little piece of tissue and a sticker on it. But, again, it's not, uh, that's a business choice that I made to make it feel even more boutique-y. But it's not a requirement. So, my, the poly mailers, I want to say you get like 100 130 for like 9 or $10. So it's very, the cost of shipping is very minimal. And a lot of that is covered through your shipping fees. Is there a rule that you cannot sell any other clothing line? Yes. Um, and you cannot sell, like say you couldn't do Agnes and Dora and Honey and Lace. Or you can't do Agnes and Dora and Lula Row. But really why would you want to? I mean that would be kind of, it would be confusing. But you can do, say, um you know, Agnes and Dora and Lip Sense. You can do Agnes and Dora and Rodan Fields. You can do Agnes and Dora and Stella and Dot. You just can't do two of the same clothing lines. No, it, it, you really don't need a lot of extra stuff. And, you know, and, and I'll be real honest with you guys. You know, I, I bought the $3,500 kit. And, you know, I'm not going to be like, you'll see a lot of videos where people are saying, oh, yeah, I made my money back in one week. Yeah, I, I made my money back for my kit in the first week. And, you know, but I'm continuing to grow my business. So I don't really say I'm, I've made all my money back until I'm walking to the ATM and I'm pulling out five grand just to go play with. Which my goal is, you know, by December. <laughs> Could you sell dot dot small, which is a kid's line? Courtney, we actually have girls clothing, so little girls clothing, so it would still be considered a clothing line. But you would be able to, um, now we do have a lot of girls that have come from other companies that are liquidating or uh, 
desashing or what do they call it? Gob, go, how do you pronounce it? Go, the going out of business stuff. They have to do that while they're transitioning over and that's fine. Um, yeah, I know Dot Dot Smile. I got a three-year-old little girl, so I got, she's my youngest of six, so I looked at doing, hey Dominique, I lo actually looked at doing a uh, Dot Dot Smile uh, while I was in the Lula Rocchio because I really wanted to do Mommy and Me sets, and uh, at the time, LuLaRoe had just separated from Dot Dot Smile, and they weren't going to have those little girls clothes anymore, and I was like, aww. <laughs> so. Oh, you're new to Agnes and Dora. Well, welcome, Courtney. Yes, we have little girls, and I do Mommy and Me sets, which I love. That's one of the things that made me fall in love with is the fact that I can wear little elephant leggings with me and my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> wore them out to Disney World. But yes, we have little girls' tops and bottoms. And we also, uh, we don't have little boys yet, but that probably be sometime in the future, I'm sure, as the company gets bigger. She just, Buffy is really concerned about doing control growth um, just so that we can keep our quality and our, you know, our price points at a good level. We are um, cheaper per item by at least a couple of dollars. I know some competitors, I think their price point on their leggings is like 25, we're 22. Our kids' leggings are 18. Um, our dusters, which, um, like our vest dusters and our, our full dusters are about $20 cheaper than the competitors. Um, so it's definitely a good price point and a lot of people are really attracted to that. But we have less than a 2% defect rate, which is incredibly low, because I don't know about y'all. I can guarantee you I've gone to McDonald's more times than not and had more than 2% of the time my order's not right. So um, the fact that having this many uh, clothes in this big of an industry, having less than a 2% defect rate is amazing. How would you compare the quality to LuLaRoe? Um, our clothes are very true to size, which is nice for the customer because they aren't having to size up and size down constantly. Um, I don't know about y'all, but this girl is not an extra extra small. I wish I was. It made me feel good one day that I put a top on and it was an extra extra small. But I want to take a picture of the tag and be like, yes, I wore an extra extra small after having six kids. Hallelujah. <laughs> but, but then the next day I put the next outfit on and I was an extra extra large. So that went right out the window, right? So with our stuff, it's very, very nice um, that we have a consistent sizing for the customers. Um, they, we also use the same color palette throughout. So you walk in your closet and you say, I have nothing to wear. That's not really true. You have a lot of clothes to wear. I mean, you probably have at least one full shelf of clothes in your closet, right? And another full shelf. The issue is that you have a skirt that you love or a shirt that you love, but they don't match. We use the same color palette throughout. So you can pick a shirt that you love and pick out a skirt and it's going to match. Um, it's going to be that same shade of green. It's not going to be off color. It's same thing, you know, with the reds and the blues. And, um, so we really allow you to really build on your wardrobe because it's all going to match and intermix. So that is another big difference between the companies. Um, our defect rec rate being less than 2% is also very significant. Um, we don't, you know, all the times I've been doing this, you know, I have not, I think one time had a customer had an item that, you know, didn't fit right. So very, very low defect rate. Yoga bands on leggings. We do not have the yoga band on the leggings. Our band is a little bit smaller, but it, it doesn't have the wider band. Our maxi skirts, our midi skirts, and our pixie pants all have that yoga band on them. But our, leg, our yo leggings have uh, a smaller band, but it doesn't roll. Cause honey, I've, I've got the stomach and I sit down and you know you how you get some pants or stuff and you get the roll down, the creeper coming out, like your belly coming, hello, I had dessert last night. That doesn't happen. So it's really nice. I want to do an online pop-up. I'll be contacting you. Awesome! I love online pop-ups. What's better than shopping with women and getting free stuff, right? You can't beat it. I love it, love it, love it. And it's so funny, every online pop-up I've done, so many people have been, you know, they purchase something at the beginning of the party, and then by the end of the party, they're coming back because they love it so much. Uh, it's, all my customers, I feel like, have become like my girlfriends. We do, on uh, Thursday nights, we all hang out together and do, uh, like, wine, women, and trivia in our shopping group. 
And it's so funny. I, we get the best stories. There's nothing better than a woman or a, a, a mommy story, right? Like, crazy. Let's see. Does anybody else have any questions? I'm sure there. there's definitely, um, I mean, all the companies out there, every one of them, I think, has definitely their pros and cons. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the girls that have been with, like, my sister who works with LuLaRoe, she's a cruise qualifier and has done well. It fits her personality very well. She also started with the company over a year ago, so she started when it was more in its, you know, infancy, when it was booming. Um, that's where we are now. We are booming. Um, we are at the ground level. If you were thinking about getting with a company, that you're going to have a lot of growth and be able to really... Hey, Melinda! <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> he, she's, she's my teacher. Um, where you really want, who owns Agnes and Dora? Buffy, uh, Buffy Banley. She is the niece of the owner of LuLaRoe. The companies are completely separate, but she is part of the, um, that family. I think it's like her cousin that owns Dot Dot Smile. And then another one owns Honey and Lace. So they're, they're big into this, um, Agnes and Dora, the family in general, is very fashion forward and very much into this industry. So she's got lots of experience. Um, she's just much, uh, I guess you would say conservative owner. She's very much about, we grow, we grow in a very consistent manner. Very consistent, deliberate, focused. Um, and she cares a lot about the reps and she listens. Let me tell you a story. We just went to Utah uh, to, for a convention. Now, how many owners of a major company do you think would send out a text message saying, hey, I'm going to be at, at IHOP in, in an hour if anybody wants to join me for breakfast? That never happens. So the reps and I that were still in town, we all met her up at IHOP, had breakfast with her, sat out on the lawn and talked with her. And everything that we told her, like if, if, things that we brought up that we thought, were should be a part of the vision of the company y'all she implemented it like the next week emails came out and was like i heard you that i'm here for you that's how much she backs all the reps in the company i mean that's so important i mean to be able to voice your concerns and actually have them hear them and also implement them because i mean that just never happens right the twin, Diana. I know it's a, it's a big family tree. Thanks, Rose, for giving me a straight. I know there's so many of them that are in in uh, in the business that it's hard to keep them straight. I didn't realize for a long time that they were all related. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. And then her uh, cousin, Sam, is now with us, who used to, I guess, be with LuLaRoe. So he's, he's now um, with Agnes and Dora as well. And she came out and introduced him. She's like, my cousin's with us. I was like, there's a lot of you guys. Deanna and Diane are twins. Ah. I knew one of them was twins. I didn't know exactly which one. Twins are great. They must they they must be uh, thinking alike because they both built major, major company empires there. But yeah, I mean I tried I tried all the different companies. I you know, when I got in the queue for LuLaRoe, I mean I was gun ho. I mean, I I'm not kidding, my husband thought I had lost my mind. I uh as soon as I got in the queue for LuLaRoe, I ordered like my cards, I ordered my signage and everything, and it wasn't until I just had this like feeling I couldn't get rid of that it just I don't know, I just had this knot in my stomach that wouldn't go away that about making that kind of investment and you know just not being able to control things that I started looking around. So who are Agnes and Dora? Agnes as where did the names come from or the company? Agnes and Dora is actually from a book um, that, uh, Buffy's grandmother wrote a long time ago and y'all it is hysterical hysterical and basically it Agnes is the feminine side of a woman and Dora is the independent um, basically the entrepreneur side of a woman and it was funny because this book was like written like years and years and years ago guys like one of the quotes in the book was um, tell your husband positive things like 
you're a walrus of a man. It's hysterical. You read it. It's very old-fashioned and very hysterical. But the idea behind it was that every woman needs to cherish their feminine side as well as their independent side and their creative side. And that you really embrace both sides of a woman. Honey and Lace, yes. They are very much... Um, uh, the Buffy is very much... She halted onboarding from November through March. Because she was determined that we wouldn't have the uh, oversaturation as a lot of companies. Um, she does want to make the initial investment lower cost for people that want to, you know, start up their own boutiques. But she doesn't want so many people onboarding that we end up with a hundred something thousand reps. And um, one that, ha you know, if you're onboarding that fast, you really can't train them appropriately. Um, you, I mean, it's, it's a lot to train you want to make sure that you know not only do they know the clothing business but they also know how to run their business you want to be able to help your downline as far as understanding taxes understanding how to set up their business appropriately how to balance their budgets so she really wants to make sure that the reps that come on are supported by their upline and they're not just like brought in they are currently onboarding right now um they, it is back open, but Buffy has said that she reserves the right at any time to um, halt boarding again. But they are onboarding right now, which is why I thought I'd come on and talk to you guys. Because I know a lot of people have contacted me and had questions about Agnes and Dora, who we were, what the company is like, what the costs are, uh, what the process is. So I thought I would come and talk with you guys and answer any questions you guys have. Um, as far as how to onboard... Um, you can, you know, if you feel like I would be somebody that, that you would like working with or, you know, my goofy Southern self, um, you can always go to my website and, uh, livingadorably.com and click, uh, join my team. And then it takes you, um, and it, you just fill out your name, your address and everything. And then from there you will get an email and once you get your email, then you can onboard, you can purchase your kit, your wet, you get your website, all that stuff at that time. Um, your kit will take a few weeks to come in. If you need more time, um, can, I will tell you about the price point. Yes, the smallest package is $3,500. That's correct. Um, and you have 21 days to purchase your kit from the time you get your email. If you need more time than that to on, officially onboard, then you would just call the rep support line um, to onboard. Um, but it would keep you in line. The $3,500 is the cheapest um, kit that we have. It is a sample, and you get high quality. You're not going to get, you know, $2,000 worth of leggings and $1,500 worth of uh, other, like, your tops and stuff. You get a small amount of, you know, you get probably, like, what, 100, maybe 100 leggings, um, which is, like, a couple hundred dollars out of that. And then all the rest of it is, like, runs of black, um, dresses, skirts, um, tops, uh the wraps, the sweaters, I mean, you get a lot of stuff. And it's at a 50% um, profit margin. So that $3,500 kit turns into a $7,000. Um, can you tell us about the price points? The price points are lower, Kelsey, than our competitors, which is another huge selling point. Hey, Gina! Um, the far as the price points, for example, our leggings, our competitor is... Sorry, let me close this real quick. Our competitor is around $25 a pair and $30 for a limited edition stuff. Hey! Um, our leggings are $22 for a pair for adults, and that includes our limited edition. We don't charge extra for limited edition, um, which we currently have two in stock right now, and it's so nice that we can offer them at the same price point. As far as like our vesters um, and our dusters, we have a price point difference. We're about $20 less. Um, and as far as the shirts, our most of our shirts run uh, between like our tunics and ruffle tunics that would be comparable to other companies. Um, they run between 52 and 56. But then we have sleeveless tops, two-tiered tops, um, dolmans, a lot of things that are around the $20 to $40 price range, which is very economically friendly. I mean, just the fact that you can get high quality, um, you get a same color palette, and you can shop online at a website. You're not having to go and shop 50 different groups to find that one thing you're looking for, you know. You are able to go to one place and, and shop. And you can shop at 3 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's 
the customers are finding it very, very user friendly and um, very customer oriented. Is there a minimum order after onboarding? No, there's not a minimum order. Um, the only thing that is required, Meg, is that if you place an order, because you have to take in consideration they, they are having to use manpower to pack it, to ship it, pull your order. The only thing they ask is that if you place an order, it's $100, which is, is nothing. Washing instructions. Um, almost everything we have is machine wash and hang dry. Now, let me just tell you, my husband is in the house. My kids are in the house. <laughs> my husband has washed my stuff, like, and fried it, like, nuked it in the dryer at, like, high heat for, like, 60-something minutes with a black pen, and it survived. So, yeah, if it can survive my toddlers and stuff, I don't think there's much you can do to mess it up. <laughs> but, yes, most of the instructions are going to be machine wash, hang dry. Um, there are a couple pieces that are... Um, dry clean only, um, but I particularly usually don't have them in my boutique because I'm a mom of six and I don't know what dry cleaning is. I haven't seen that world since about 20 years ago. So every boutique you shop will be different. When you order, do you get to order a specific style? Yes, Meg, that is that is why I fell in love with Agnes and Dora at first, seriously, because I am a a nurse and a mom and I have to have control over things and I have to have predictability. The idea of getting a box that uh, I had no idea what I was going to get and I'm not good at faking things. I was like, oh my gosh, if I get this print with like something funky on it, I am not going to be able to sell it and everybody's going to know. Yes, Belinda, we do um, plus size. We do from extra extra small to 3XL and we also do little girls size um, 3 to size 10. So we have something for everybody. Um, but yeah, the fact that I could go in and I get to order, okay, I want ruffle tunics and I want them in this floral print, or I want a solid black run or a solid green or a red, because I know Christmas is right around the corner. We're going to be doing family pictures. I go in and select exactly what style I want, what size I want, what print I want, and how many I want. And so you really control your inventory, just as if you were a brick and mortar store like Macy's. You're not, they're not going to just send you whatever. And then also for the leggings, thank you for the hearts, you guys. Um, also in the leggings, we have uh, extra small, which is, we don't just do two sizes, which I don't know about y'all. I got a big butt and, you know, I got a, I got a midsection. And so that range was like crazy for me with the one size and tall and curvy because I was like in the middle. So it was like either I had pants on that like, fit my legs but were so tight I thought well I can't order dessert crap or <laughs> or it was like you know it would fit in the middle but then my legs look like you know maybe I lost some weight you know and look kind of baggy so with our leggings we have extra small which is zero to two um small medium which is <laughs> y'all laugh at me really my, I can tell you jokes about my stomach all day long I love my carbs uh, medium is uh, small medium is 4 to 12 then we have large which is 12 to 16 and then our extra large which is 16 to 24 so it makes it so that you can order leggings that are more towards your size you're not going to be getting like a 14 size range are there swing dresses or and are there high lows below the knee our swing dresses are uh, I'm 5'1 and they come to my knee so I wear them my swing dresses my swing tops as a dress or I wear them with leggings. Um, the high lows do not go um, below the knee. They go about to the mid thigh. Um, so they're really good to wear with, like jeans. They're good to wear with your leggings. Um, but not that. We do have Fisher dresses which are a sleeveless and they're knee length dress. Um, we also have a Angelou dress that is um, about mid knee to mid calf and a sleeveless. Just onboarded, and I love that cop mind showing. Actually, Vanessa, I got this from my girlfriend. She, This was a present from my girlfriend. I don't know if it's backwards or not on this camera, but it says hashtag, oh, hashtag adorable hustlers. Isn't it cute? And it's, um, I didn't order it, but it looks like it's from a company called Beast. Do you see that, Beast? I drink water like a fish. I think it's from nursing my kids for 13 years between them all, so... I still have the habit of drinking like I'm pregnant. So. 
<laughs> so I drink water all the time. So she, she got me this cute little mug. And I was like, oh, it keeps it cold. It has ice. You know, it's a mom thing, right? You get so excited over ice. I can go shopping all day long and I still got ice in my cup. <laughs> but yes, it is adorable. And we have, um, like I can show you guys something real quick. To give you an idea of some of the gorgeous prints we have, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is our Angelou. And this is the techno fabric. And you guys, if you're new with Agnes and Dora, it has pockets on the side. How many times have you wanted a dress or something? Hey, Lindsay, that has pockets on the side. Our clients love pockets. I need a place to throw my lip scents, to throw my car keys, throw my kids' shopkins, you know, whatever. If they're sick, you need a place to stash your extra uh, tissues to go on the go, right? Total mom life. And we get these gorgeous prints. And this is the techno fabric that is just gorgeous. And then we have solid black, which I can't tell you guys. I hear so many people come to me and say, oh, I have been looking for a solid black 2XL shirt forever. And it's like impossible to buy one. And I don't want to pay $100 for that shirt. And I'm like, you don't have to. I have a black dolman in that size for $30. Or I have a black um, essential tank for $28. And if you want a full tunic shirt, I have the Muse tops and I have ruffle tops. So people are just so excited that there's such a variety and that they can get those staple items um, that otherwise were really, really hard to find. Do you guys have any questions about me or about the company or any more business questions? I'm going to sip on my water. How much inventory do I keep? Right now, I have about 1,300 pieces, and I'm growing my inventory. Now, most of the reps will have, is that true you get to pick? Yes, we pick everything, Sherry. I, I, I pick my stuff. That, I'm a control freak. I, I have to have, be able to. Plus, I want to shop. I'm going to spend that money. I want to feel like I get to shop for it. It makes it a lot more fun. Um, but I keep, a, right now I have about 1,300 pieces in stock. And then I will, I, I'm personally bulking it up because I booked uh, the Ultimate Women's Expo in Atlanta. I'm so excited. In November. Where they get like guest speakers like Regis Philman and Nene Leakes and um, Helen Hunt. So I'm super excited about that. So right now I'm actually growing my inventory for that. Um, and also we'll be doing the Southern Women's Show um, in Savannah shortly after that. So I am bulking up my inventory for that, but most reps have about 600 to 700 pieces in their inventory. Um, how long has the company been around? The company was established in 2013, and um, so it is four years old, and it is growing phenomenally. And it, I mean, and she makes... Buffy makes really smart business decisions, and not only that, she's very honest. Like, I to give you an example, I don't know about y'all, I don't want to work for someone who tells me everything is rainbows and roses and when it's not. You know, like, she is very I keep a real type person. And I love that about her because I feel like there's a very honest business relationship there because it is a business. We are basically... We're, renting her brand to run our business if you imagine that so I need to trust that she's making good brand decisions and she does if if something you know she's very clear to the point she's very honest if something doesn't go right she's like okay this is not going right but this is xyz what I'm doing to fix it I am so sorry this you know and she's that type of person she's not going to be like oh you guys, it's fine. You just need to be happy and not complain about it. No, she will keep it real with you, and I love that. I mean, it's kind of like anyone. I mean, even as a mom, I do some things that aren't right. I, I have my failures. You know, I, I, girl, I was so tired the other night. I didn't feel like cooking dinner, so I went right by Mickey D's and picked up dinner, you know. And is it was that the healthiest choice for my kids? Nope, but that's what it was, you know. And she's kind of like that. If, if it, she, something's not working and she has to make another decision and, you know, roll with it. She's going to tell you about it. She's not going to be like, oh, no, I went home and I made a gourmet organic meal. And, and I like that about her. She's very real. Um, right? What, the, we don't have a minimum amount to order per month. 
Um, you order what's best for your company, what's best for you. Um, nobody's going to tell you, hey, you need to order this amount. Um, we don't have a, a, what do you call it, um, like a comp plan where, you know, we don't have that kind of stress where it's like, okay, um, your upline's going to be telling you, you need to order, you need to order, you need to order. No, you need to do what's best for you. Um, that's what we're going to tell you. Um, you do what's best for your boutique, for your budget, for your finances. Um, if you order from the warehouse, the only thing they ask is that your but that your purchase is at least a hundred dollars. And the only reason for that is they're having to use manpower to pull that order, to package that order, to ship that order, um, and just to kind of make it um, cost effective for them. And that helps keep our price points in general lower. Right? I love that. Yeah, when I heard that I was going to have to order, you know, so many pieces per month, and in, and I did the math, and I was like, oh, okay, 33 is a low number. 33 is not a low number. <laughs> it was like 700 something dollars per, per month, you know, which is fine. You know, granted, I probably do because, you know, business is really, really good. <laughs> oh, my business has been very good. So good that I've, I sometimes forget to sleep because it's, we're getting so many orders and we're so busy. So, um. You know, so yes, I order, you know, several hundreds of dollars of stuff per month, but that's because I'm selling that much, um, which is a good thing. It's better than the other way around. But at the same time, um, I just didn't want to be told I had to. If I get sick one month or my kids get sick, or I'll be honest, in July, I was sick as a dog for like a week, like sick, sick. Like I'm a labor and delivery nurse too, and I couldn't even go and deliver babies, like I was so sick I couldn't get off my couch. I mean, I was like walking zombie in my house, right? And you thought the walking dead had showed up. Um, and then we traveled to Utah. And so for like half a month, I was not working, right? So it made it nice. I didn't have that mandatory requirement. Oh, you got to come and you have to order X amount of money. Um, it's just, a, you know, if you want to place an order, it's $100. And then, um, you know, if you're wanting to, we get uh, what's called rec credits. If you want to earn rec credits, it's just five hundred dollars out of five out of six months, which just means that you just shows that you're active. Which, if you're in this business and you started up, you're going to be active because we don't have the competition. The market's wide open. Um, there's vendor events. People are falling in love with Agnes and Dora. Once they've tried a single piece of it and they've taken it home and worn it and they've got compliments, they are coming back. I mean, coming back and again and again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Consider this post a sign from the universe that yes, it's time to start your own small business. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, I'm very honest and I will, you know, I'll tell you the pros, the cons and you know, everything. I mean, it is, uh, it is work you guys. I love the look of the tops. Yes. I love the tops. I mean the prints and you know, I love the prints cause I picked them out. Right. But, um, I love all the different styles. I love the fact that you can have things like ruffle tunics and muse tops. You can have um, sleeveless items, two tiers of it. I mean, you can have your everyday tanks, your love tops. It really does flatter every woman from, you know, teenagers. My teenage daughter wears my Agnes and Dora. You know, all the way up to I've had, you know, customers in their 70s. I mean, it just feels good. It's comfortable. And, I mean, like I'm wearing, I'm wearing an ear heart dress right now. This is from the fall, and I love it. It feels like I get to hang out in my pajamas, but I'm cute and dressed, and people think I got dressed up. <gasps> yes, the prints are great. I mean, you get you can get stripes, and you can get um, you know match up your solids. It's not it's not all uh, cartoony. I mean, we have some things you know where it's like animal prints and fun stuff, and like lipsticks. And you tell me I love my lipsticks, um, or I should say my lip scents, um, but you know, you get, you can really get some very, um, cute sets with like florals and real like chevron patterns. It's awesome. What's the minimum you have to sell each? We don't have a minimum, sweetie. You, it is your business. It is what you make of it. Um, you know, with other companies, you have to buy X amount to be able to get certain, um, percentages off your product. With us, it's automatically a 50% discount. So you buy it wholesale and you sell it retail. So, and, it, and from the first item that you purchase, it, you've got a 50% discount. 
and then how much you sell per month is how much you work your business if you want to work your business as you know just a part-time thing and supplement and get an extra couple hundred dollars a month extra thousand dollars a month then you know you can do that if you want to grow it and make it into a full-time job like my upline rep does she um, I'll tell you a little bit about Lauren real quick and I'll answer the next question Lauren Boyle is um, one of my upline reps and she started off the business using a $2,500 package and this was last July she has five boys um, and her husband she was a night um, auditor at a hotel and he worked her husband worked a full-time job during the day and between their five boys they were busy she literally started doing this out of her kitchen out of her kitchen she had one little rolling rack and she pulled it into her kitchen at night and did live sales does not do parties does not do vendor events only does live on Periscope and she's now this month already making over 30,000 a month her husband has quit his job he works with her now and helps her do shipping and running the business and she does she quit her job and she does this full-time and my uh, next up line rep Tiffany she is same thing very very successful Let's see, uh, sorry, let me, I think I missed some comments. So we don't have a, mini, a minimum, you don't, you're never going to hear, you have to sell X amount this month. It's, it's what you make of your business. Do you ever have trouble ordering it's because they're out of stock or certain prints sell out fast? Yes, but they restock them, which is nice. So like today we had a launch and tons of stuff and things sold out, but then we'll get restock in and then we can order off the restock. We're also, Buffy, that was one of the things we talked to Buffy was the um, purchasing. We wanted to be able to pre-purchase items. For example, we have Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, um, Halloween, uh, Valentine's Day. All of those are big holiday um, times. And so we get specific holiday prints for all that, right? So, of course, those are going to sell out fast. So, she heard us. This is, again, another time where she heard our voices as reps and listened and implemented it. So we're going to be able to pre-order our stuff, and we can order as much as we want, and we just put down, I think it's like a 20% deposit and pay the rest when it arrives. So for those hard-to-get items, we'll be able to pre-order them in the whatever amount we want and guaranteed to get them. What are the different packages? We have a $3,500 package and a $5,000 package. I tell all my girls, get the $3,500 package. Um, because you can order your own prints and styles, there, to me, is not a financial um, gain in getting the $5,000 package. I think it's a smarter business move to get your $3,500 package and use that $1,500 and pick what you want. Plus, it's like free shopping, right? You can go in and actually customize your boutique to your interests. How do you find vendor events? Um, a lot of it is networking. Um, and then just from being out and being a mom and shopping myself, I shopped the Southern Women's Show. So I knew that was something I was interested in. Um, I do have another small business. And I was thinking, you know, I always try to get into these vendor events. And they always already had reps from all these other companies there. It was always so saturated. Um, and with Agnes and Dora, you know, go in, you guys, do this. Go into the website and look up underneath Rep Finder. Put your zip code in. You can actually put your zip code on their website and put in your zip code in for a find a rep. And look at how few reps there are in your area. Okay, and, and then compare it to the other companies. That's a few number. There's 11 of us in Northeast Florida and four of them are, are on my team. So the market is wide open. And then you can find vendor events by going to like your local, um, like mom pages. You go and uh, Eventbrite is another one that you can look up online and look up your area. Think about the festivals, 4th of July festivals, back to school festivals, music concerts. All those type of venues are looking for people to come and be vendors at them. And Agnes and Dora is not there. And But once you are established with them, after that, the following uh, years, they will typically use the same vendor from that company. That's why when you fill out the application, it asks, were you a vendor here last year? Because you get first dibs. So being at this level of Agnes and Dora, you can secure your spot in all the major vendor events. I mean, 
the Ultimate Women's Expo that we're doing in Atlanta is going to be huge. It's like 15, 20,000 people a day. Um, same thing with the Southern Women's Show. I mean, these are major events that you can really financially do well at. Can you sell it anywhere you want, like a flea market? You, we don't do flea markets. We do pop-ups. Um, you can also, we have an online website that you can do. Um, you can't have it in a brick and mortar store. You can't have it set up somewhere where it's like a, a storefront. It has to, we still are aligned with the um, concept of a pop-up or a party company. Um, but you, we do have our online website that's a store that's available 24-7. Um, it, but if I go on vacation, I can close the store. It's, it's nice. You can just go in there and alter your dates on the website. Um, and then you can do pop-up parties. You can do vendor events. Um, you know, I guess a flea market would be questionable because it would be kind of like a vendor event. So I don't know. You might, you, that would be something that I would have to clarify. I don't know for sure about the flea market. I guess as long as it's not a consistent, you know, it's not a storefront you might be okay. How many reps are there? Meg, right now there are 2,800 reps in the company and we are growing, which is really, really nice because compared to our competitors, I have like 130,000 reps because we have 2,800 reps. It is very much a sisterhood and it's, um, we're not uh, competitive. We definitely, like we'll do live shows and if it's a new rep, we all get on there and help her and get on and cheer on. And um, it's very much a very warm atmosphere. It's amazing. How do the prices compare to LuLaRoe? I notice the shirts seem a lot more expensive. Is it a problem when you're trying to sell? No, I have had no problems. Actually, um, my tops is one of the things I sell the most of. Um, and believe it or not, it's usually to LuLaRoe customers. Um, and the reason is, is that they can get the size that they need and the color that they need. Um, I mean, I can get solid black for them. Um, I can get, uh, certain colors. They like the prints. Um, they like the fact that they can order online. Um, but pretty much all of our other stuff is either the same price or cheaper than the competitors. But our quality is excellent and we have less than a 2% defect rate, which... Like I was telling the girls earlier in the live, I mean, I, I go to McDonald's and get more than 2% of the time get the wrong stuff. So <laughs> I think a 2% 2, 2 defect rate is amazing. And we don't have issues with getting holes in the clothes. We don't have any issues with the piling. Um, I mean, I've had this dress for over six months and it still looks brand new underneath the sleeves. And this, this has been washed and I can't tell you how many times my husband's thrown this thing in the dryer, which they're hand, uh, machine wash, hang dry. So, I mean, it still looks good. Are you allowed to discount your items? We do not discount any items online. The reason is, is you've, you've looked at the competitor companies. What is the number one problem the reps are having? Why would somebody buy from you at retail if they can go somewhere else and get it at 40% off? So we don't want to cultivate that culture with Agnes and Dora, so you are not allowed to openly advertise anything online, any discounts. Now. In person, yes, you can do discounts in person. You can do special discounts for your hostess. That is part of running your business. Um, but we don't advertise because it keeps an even playing field for all the reps that are out there. And Buffy is very much um, an advocate in that the reps are supported 100%. So it's not fair to another rep if I'm offering 40% off on something that's brand new and somebody else is trying to sell it for retail. So we... Um, we don't do it. Now the company will run specials. Um, and when the company runs specials, just like if, you know, Macy's or Nordstrom's run a special, you know, skirts or um, buy one, get one, you know, buy one, get one 20% off or whatever, then we can run and advertise that special. But other than that, we don't discount because it, it allows an unfair advantage for one rep over another. Where are the clothes made? Most of our clothes are made in the U.S. and then some of them are made in, um, a manufacturing warehouse in China so but a lot of people that have bought our products I mean we're amazed because you can check the stitching on our products we don't have threads coming out we don't have uneven hems um, odd prints because they're all made in one manufacturing warehouse it's not one isn't made in like uh, Taiwan and another one made you know it's not 
all these different places so it's very uniform as to where it's made and the only reason why we were completely 100% American made hey Lori we were 100% made in America um, until a few months back and the only reason why that was is the warehouses and and this is again where Buffy's extremely honest and tells it like it is I appreciate it um, the where some of the industry warehouses in California were um, not how do I say this in a nice way were not treating their employees up to a standard that Buffy thought that they should be and majority of you know we import the fabrics right and if the 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 employees aren't being treated as we think they should be treated you know she was like okay well I don't agree with that so I don't know about you guys but a lot of things that are made overseas are still excellent quality I mean look at our cars I mean some of the nicest cars are made overseas I mean just because it's made overseas doesn't devalue it in any way um, so yeah I mean a lot of our products that have come in they're consistent in sizing because they're all made in the same manufacturer super high quality and we have we haven't had any issues with like holes or um, anything like that or sizing I know a lot of people are worried about things being made overseas because of sizing because say something is what you know like I was selling out earlier I would try it on something and I was extra extra small and I don't know about y'all but this body hasn't been extra extra small since I was probably like in middle school if then so it's nice to nice to see it on my tag but it wasn't it wasn't reality what are the fabric blends commonly come from a lot of our fabrics are 96 percent um oh you know brain glitch here I was like, 90, 96 Let's say 96% rayon, 4% spandex. So this is like one of our muse tops here. So it allows them that this blend makes it wrinkle resistant. It also makes it peel res uh, the piling resistant on it. And this is one of our muse tops. What is the average startup cost? The average startup cost, um, Tracy, is going to be $3,500 for, um, for your kit. Um, which I recommend you get the $3,500 um, kit. It's the cheapest kit they have, and the reason is because you can choose any, all your pieces individually. You pick, hand pick them after your initial kit. Um, and then it's $49 for the website, and that's a yearly fee, which worth every penny. Every penny. Because what that means is that I don't have, I don't take pictures, I don't um, track my in, inventory in a separate system. Um, it tracks my marketing, my branding, all in there for me, as well as um, eventually they're going to end up making it into our merchant system as well. But right now we use PayPal. Um, but it's an online store, so people can shop 24-7 off your website. So you're not <laughs> in that bonus, right? It means that you don't have to just be getting sales from a live show or from album sales or a multi-rep sale or a vendor event. I can be on my couch watching, you know, my big brother, my Game of Thrones, and my shop's open and working, which is a huge money maker. I didn't realize how big of a difference that was between the other companies until I started doing it. And then, yeah, it definitely changes your numbers, as well as it, it gives you a life, it gives you time to stop and enjoy your family, because you're not always having to be on, on live or, or taking photography. I'm not a photographer, so it takes me like 30 minutes to take one picture outfit. So, yeah, I knew that wasn't a good idea for me. Isn't that wonderful? And you don't have to worry about Facebook jail. You won't have to get like a, a black and white striped jumper outfit for you. <laughs> I hear that's awful. <laughs> I, I, ugh, I heard they freeze you up and you can't comment or do anything. So, yeah, it's great. And I mean, and being groundbreaking, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have thought about times where... I was like, man, I wish I was the person who invented the laptop or the clapper, you know, all these cool inventions that you see are so simple. And, you know, people have just, you know, gotten a very financial gain off these little items and wished, man, I, that could have done that. I could have been in the beginning of that. That's how I feel about Agnes and Dora is like, literally, this is so groundbreaking and it's so, we are so close to the top. It is amazing and it's just growing 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 and I mean it's amazing and the fact that that Buffy cares so much about the culture that she's not gonna let it 
is wonderful that it's growing, but it's also wonderful that she's not going to let it oversaturate the market. And she's not going to, she's making sure that our company doesn't experience the, the hiccups that other similar, you know, competitor companies have had. How has this company changed your life financially? It's amazing. <laughs> um, uh, I actually worked as a labor and delivery nurse and I work one day every two weeks because I work PRN. Um, and I have six kids and I was an avid, like avid couponer. Why? Because I needed to save money on my grocery bill. Feeding these kids was like 600 bucks a week. Okay, like insanity. So I started couponing to, you know, bring our budget back down. Well, to give you an idea of how much the company is really, I was able to earn the cost of my kit in a week. Um, do I say that that meant that I that what, I made all my money back? No, that's no. Um, because I don't believe that. You don't go and open up a business and make all your money back in a week. That is throwing fairy dust at you to me. Um, did I make the cost of what I invested in my kid back? Yes, I made that back in a week. Um, am I continuing to to increase my, uh, my numbers? Yes. They've gone up over 400% in the last month. So my, you know, it's definitely growing. I mean, I can, I can give you exact numbers. Um, you know, I can tell you that our upline, but I, I, the reason why I hesitate to give you guys specific numbers is for two reasons. One, it's not a get rich quick scheme. And I like to make that very, very upfront. This is just like opening up a business. So you're going to make what I make may not be what you make. And the reason is I'm putting a lot into the business. If you put a lot into the business, you will make what I'm making and what my upline is making, right? But if you're working the business an hour a week, you're not going to make those same numbers. And I don't want to give you false impression that you can make this kind of money off of an hour a week. Because to me, that's ingenuine. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I don't believe in convincing anybody to go into this business. And I don't believe in um, talking people into this business. I think that I'm more than happy to answer questions, but um, I will definitely be able to meet all of my why goals. And I do believe that I will be paying myself back before the end of the year, which means to me, I will be going to the bank and just pulling money out and not having to worry about where it is. Um, and it has also allowed me to stay a stay at home mom. I've met incredible women through doing this. I mean, uh, lots of Gina's one of them. I mean, you know, of course I know Caitlin and Lori and, um, a lot of, a lot of the girls that are on here, I've actually met them through, um, doing Agnes and Dora. Let's see. You're, it's beautiful clothing. Like, yes, Sarah. Thank you. That's what everybody thinks. Everybody's like, it's so gorgeous. The clothes are just so gorgeous. And I, and I, I always take extra pride in that too. Cause I'm like, Oh, cause I, and I picked these pieces and that means you like my pieces. <laughs> Um, how do your leggings compare with LuLaRoe? I tried on tall and curvy in two different patterns and I fit one. One of the reasons, Eleanor, why that happens is because they're made in different manufacturing companies and countries. Um, that's one reason why they've had an issue with that. That is one thing that Buffy, um, halted onboarding for. She did not want our products. We could have easily outsourced our products to all these different countries and manufacturers. She didn't want that because the reason is, is I've heard people can say, um, I can wear the leggings from China, but I can't wear them from Taiwan or Singapore, right? Because they're just cut in different places. Two different manufacturers are not going to be able to cut something the exact same way when it comes to fabric and clothing. So it's going to be made a little differently. All of our stuff is made in the same manufacturing warehouse. So all of our stuff is, is going to be the same size. And also we don't do one size and tall and curvy we do closer size range to what you're thinking that fit you better. Um, so like our small medium is size four to 12 and our large is 12 to 16. And then our extra large is 16 to 24. And then we have extra, uh, extra small, which is zero to two. Cause that person that is a size zero, if they go to put on leggings,